Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For this episode, we will be dealing with the question, does someone have to go to church in order to be a Christian? Although not a new fad, there are many people who believe that they can be a Christian and not go to church. They want to avoid the so-called organized religion. But let's see what the Bible has to say on this. The Bible tells us that there are several forms of worship that you can offer to God on your own. But there are some that you cannot. Let's start with the most obvious, partaking of the Lord's Supper. Paul scolds the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 11, 17 to 34 for misusing the time that they gathered together. In 1 Corinthians 11, verse 20, he said, Therefore, when you come into one place, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. If you read through the entire section, note how many times Paul mentions that this was a time for Christians to come together as a church. The partaking of the Lord's Supper is consistently portrayed as an act shared by all Christians in a church. The meal has its roots in the covenant meals mentioned in the Old Testament. It is a time for all who are under the same covenant to gather and remind themselves of the obligations they have placed themselves under and to share the common bond between them. In 1 Corinthians 10 verse 16 and 17 we read, The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the, communion of the body of Christ? The, uh, for we, though many, are one bread and one body, for we all partake of that one bread. That term we sometimes use for the Lord's Supper, communion, means a sharing or fellowship. You cannot share by yourself. We also note the first disciples in Acts 2.42 continued steadfastly in the Apostles' doctrine, in fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. They were devoted towards fellowship. Christianity is a religion shared with common believers. It is not an individualistic religion. In part, it is our time uh, together that gives us opportunity to encourage each other. In Hebrews 10, verses 23 to 25, Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. You cannot stir up your fellow Christians to good works and love if you are never with them. This is why we have been commanded to not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. The church is an entity given a mission to do. In Ephesians 4, 11 to 13, we read, And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Where would be uh, the body of Christ if no one joined themselves to a local church? How could there be teachers if there were no students? How could, be the, how could there be elders oversee the souls of members if there were no members? There will be periods of time, such as when we are moving from one location to another, when we won't be a member of a local congregation. But these times are the exceptions, not the rule. We find in the New Testament that at the first opportunity, Christians sought to join themselves with Christians in that area serving God. When Saul, who later became known as Paul, journeyed to Jerusalem, we find something that he did in Acts 9, verses 26 to 28. He tried, to join the, he tried to join the disciples, but they were afraid of him and did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took and brought him to the apostles, and he declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the road and that he had spoken to him and how he preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. So he was with them at Jerusalem, coming in and going out. The church in Jerusalem made a mistake in not accepting Saul into their number as a Christian. But Barnabas helped to straighten out this situation. Still, notice that Paul didn't wait after arrival to join his brethren, and that the brethren, right or wrong, controlled who they accepted as members. Being joined with God's people in a congregation was and remains important. We need to go to church 
in order to worship God fully, in order to worship God properly, in order to be a Christian. If you are not a Christian, the brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you could hear the word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you'd like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our hours of service are Sunday at 10 a.m. for Bible study and 11 a.m. for morning worship, as well as Wednesday at 7 p.m. for midweek Bible study. You can also view all of these services live online by visiting our website or searching for the East End Church of Christ on YouTube. If you, if you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to catch up on any episode that you missed, you will find them on our website at www.eastendchurch.org under the podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes that we spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. Please join me, the Lord willing, again in the next episode when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Until you listen again, keep searching the Scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.